Anthony Ichimendia, you know, getting fifth in the nation after all he's been through. Um, you know, I got to bust some chops here in the Twitter world right now and tell everybody that thinks they know everything about his personal life to go get a life because, uh, uh, you know, go check the court records out if people are out there crucifying him on Twitter because you're talking about a quality number one uh, kid, that's it. You know, it's really frustrating in this world that we live in if you're a student athlete, and the better of a student athlete you are, the more uh, of a target you are. And it's, it's, it's not a fair world in that uh, these guys are guilty until proven innocent. So that's my rant on Anthony Chimendi and what a class kid he is. And so for all those people out there that are uh, haters, you know, go check the go check the court records before you before you throw hate at a at a, at a college kid. I'm tired of uh, these college kids getting thrown under the bus. Uh, these student athletes, and, and, and they're all automatically guilty of everything. Uh, and and then you get to the real facts, and it gets to a court of law, and you find out that it wasn't even the way it was said or presented. Um, so. Uh, you know, everybody out there needs to let, let these kids be kids and let the let, let things play out sometimes. Uh, and, and I'm on this rant because of all the stuff he had to do to get back into, you know, he had to get a junior college degree. He, he had to do a lot of academic things. Obviously, he had a, a legal issue that he had to get resolved, and that all takes time. And the patience the kid had to get back in there because I'll tell you what, I, I made it hard on him to get back into Iowa State. I think everybody knows the history. He kind of started with us, he took off, and then he came back. Um, but that kid did everything we asked of him and more. And to see him get rewarded, you know, when he was this close to being in the finals, um, he's just a great story. And, and I'm so excited to have that kid uh, for Iowa State. And uh, sit down and have a conversation with him if you really want to know what kind of character he's got. So that's my Anthony Chimendia story right for, for you, gang, right there, all right? Um, and then Casey Swiderski, you know, I think he's a crowd favorite uh, just because of his passion and his, and his heat uh, that he brings to wrestling. Obviously, he's got to get a lot better at wrestling. You know, we got guys like second-year guy. Frost is a second-year guy. Chittam's a second-year guy. Gaetan's a second-year guy. When I'm talking, some of them are freshmen, some of them are sophomores. Those guys are all I'm really proud of. Uh, they just got to get better at wrestling, you know. So uh, that was our morning. You know, super excited. I think everybody saw what's going on with David Carr and uh, what he did last night. Uh, I think excited the wrestling world, and I know Dave is excited. He's got a tough competitor from Penn State, um, and so we'll get ready to see him. See where it falls tonight. Getting back to Anthony, he hasn't seen his family for like six years, I think, in person. How, how has he dealt with that? How do you help him deal with that? Well, I think FaceTime saves a lot of people in this day and age. Uh, so I know he spends a lot of time on his phone with his family, and he's very close with his family. And you know, his, his father uh, and uh, my our assistant coach, Coach Fernando Villascuse. Uh, grew up, uh, they were kids together, and so that relationship goes way, way back. So Fernando's been like a father figure ever since Anthony came over to the United States about four or five years ago. So uh, I know he keeps in close cut touch with them, and they're very close. He made a point about uh, Younger last night. The fact that maybe, he, did he break his finger or something going into the tournament? Yeah. He, that it really slowed him down a bit? Yeah, he broke his finger. It didn't slow him down a bit. You know, you got to overcome that. There's a lot of bumps and bruises and breaks and twists. And, stuff out there, you know, Younger just didn't have a good weekend, you know, and that's on Younger, he's got to figure that out, and you get here and you have that experience, but, uh, you know, he just didn't get it done yesterday, and, and you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a sugar coat kind of guy, and, you know, he's got to figure that out, make adjustments, so when he gets back here one more time, he's ready to go. I'm not sure where the team race stands, but if a second, what a second place finish here do for you, for this program? That'd be great, you know, it's just progress, it's progress, so, you know, we signed up for, well, we knew what we signed up for back six, seven years ago, and so, you know, we'll keep climbing, we got a great fan base, and we got a young team, um, you know, Iowa State's a great place to be right now. Casey, I mean, the growth that he's made this year from the wrestle-off to now, to where he had those frustrating matches that are that close, and he could have... You know, like out in there, but he doesn't. He stays controlled and he becomes an All-American. I mean, now that he's getting that control, what he, comes what his, next? His, uh, his, you know, discipline and his containment of his anger has improved. I don't think we're ever going to get rid of it, but I think he sees that he wrestles better when he does flip out. And so, uh, you know, we got to keep that going. And Chittum, I mean, obviously it was a tough tournament for him, but he had some tough draws and the way his thing's going. Obviously he's got all the talent. I mean, what's the message to him The message to him is like a lot of those young guys. I mean, Cody's a great kid. He trains hard. He loves wrestling. He hates to lose, but he's got to get better wrestling. He's just not a good enough wrestler to get on the podium at this tournament yet. It's, it's elite. 
it's elite to get on the podium here. You know, you throw in COVID, you throw in the handout medical red shirts like candy anymore. That's why we got all these 25 and 26 year old people because um, it's just real easy to stay in college. So, I mean, to be an All-American is so much harder than it was ever five years ago. Um, so I just commend these kids for getting here. What do you think are the ways that you're preparing your, your younger guys to match up against some of these, you know, super duper seniors as I like to call them? Just, you know, it's just about getting in the practice room and, uh, you know, but we also do see some 18 and 19 year old kids doing fabulous things against 24 year old kids. So, uh, you know, the, the, to answer your question, these kids are so well developed from the time they're 15 to 18 when we get them in certain places, uh, certain clubs, uh, RTCs, that, that the skill level of these kids coming in is, is why they're able to compete. It's just phenomenal and it's impressive. Anthony brought up that uh, he and Younger have a really strong relationship. I'm just curious how Younger helped Anthony navigate through some of these difficult uh, times for him. I think Younger helped Anthony navigate a really tough year and a half where he had to just kind of sit lame duck uh, and let his academics and all the legal BS that he had to go through uh, play out. And um, I think right now, Anthony's probably going to have to return the favor because I'm sure Younger's a little, uh, you know, not feeling the greatest right now. So I'm sure Anthony will be there and be a, a shoulder for Younger to lean on right now, especially maybe the next couple days. Regardless of what happens tonight, last night with the cars and everything, it's Nate, it's David, and the whole team's rallying around him. I mean, one last run, you just reflect on what the Carr family has meant to the Iowa State. Uh, what I mean, it's just a legacy. I mean, when we that was our pitch when we went and recruited David when we were, you know, we were 45th in the nation. Um, you know, come here and, and let's carry your father and you know his older brother, Nate Jr. wrestled at Iowa State, but let's carry Nate Carr uh, Sr.'s legacy. Uh, you know, in time, and boy, has he done it. What are your thoughts about going forward? Obviously, you still have a, a couple rounds on David Carr ahead, but you said a lot of younger guys, you know, that are in their second years. What do you? What's the team like going forward? We're young. We're young. You know, we got um, we got you know we'll lose David and Will Feldkamp, but everybody else is back younger. And Anthony have another year left, so we're excited about what's going on. And what Kevin Wynn and and how do you sort out that kind of log jam you have there with a lot of high level guys? 41, 49, 57, that's et a, That's a great problem to have, isn't it? I like that. I like that problem to have that we've got so much, uh, you know, biting at the ankles. I mean, look at Ichimendia and, uh, and Swiderski were at each other's throats. We had to pull them apart in the locker room all summer and all fall. And now look at them. They're arm in arm as All-Americans. I mean, uh, that's what the beauty of putting a lot of good guys together. So I'm sure we'll have a few log jams. You know, Chittam's got a red shirt. Uh, Swiderski's got a red shirt. We got Panero Johnson in the mix again next year. He'll be over his red shirt, and we'll see what happens. You know, uh, having Younger and Anthony on your team, you know, obviously not from the United States, but what does that say for you as a program that you're willing to open your arms for anyone in the uh, It was just, uh, you know, sometimes you got to go out and find a niche, especially when you were not very good, and we weren't very good uh, five, six years ago. Um, and so it's hard to go into a, a kid's home and uh, say, yeah, come to Iowa State, you don't need to go to Penn State or you don't need to go to Oklahoma State. You know, uh, that's hard to do when you're 45th and 57th in the nation. So sometimes you got to go, go find a niche, and, and that was a niche for us.